I have this old car alternator and I will convert it into electric motor first we need to tear down the alternator I just cut the face wire to to regulator and later on the regulator are no longer needed after that I clean the parts this motor has four face wires that indicates it is an Starwain configuration. We only need is a three phase wires. Just leave the bigger group of wire and extend the rest of it. I also extend the wires of the rotor. Okay, we're already done converting the alternator to motor. I have this small ATV that's sitting around in my garage. First, I need to disassemble it so I can remove the rust and dirt and after that is repaint. This ATV is already converted to electric but I'm not satisfied to conversion and I decide to replace the motor. This sprocket is from its old engine. The nut and the bolt I attach will be weld to the frame. I bought this blue wheel because they are same size in ATV but in actual they are not the same. This is the rotor wire and this is our the three paste wires.
because the alternator don't have any positioning sensor or hole sensor we need a sensorless controller luckily we have this max kago mini version 6.8 100 amps this tiny controller is capable of up to 60 volts battery voltage and up to 150 amps base current it has these generous 8 gauge power wires and 10 gauge for face wires most of the BESC I have used is needed to install heatsink but this MaxGo BESC has already this heatsink For the meantime, I'm using this 12 volts battery to power the rotor. Thirty six volts to power the controller. You can program your BESC wirelessly via Bluetooth or data cables for PC. Programming your BESC is very simple task. You can check some tutorials video here at YouTube. Here is the parameters I set. Peak power 950 watts. Motor current 150 amps. Battery discharge current 20 amps and battery voltage 36 volts For regenerative braking Maximum battery charging power is 250 watts Battery charge 10 amps and motor current 60 amps And for the throttle control is duty cycle. You can change the parameters based on the battery. You can use 4S to 14S or 12 volts up to 52 volts battery. But keep in mind that reaching controller limits can cause permanent damage to it. I removed the other wires that not need for this ATB. The only wires remain is power wires, face wires, and throttle wires. The control type is duty cycle, it controls the speed of the motor, not the power, and the best way to utilize the regenerative braking. The alternator motor can only reach 2000 RPM at 36 volt battery. 
Yes, but surprisingly, the alternator motor can produce a lot of torque that need for this kind of vehicle. The regenerative braking is too strong that most of the time it can stop the wheel and basically on that reason the physical brakes are never been used in this video the only problem i notice on alternator motor is the power consumption of the rotor it consume almost 50 watts even the motor are not spinning And the Max Kego controller is really good. It controls the alternator motor smoothly even it doesn't have positioning sensor. And I don't sense any overheating issue despite of being compact size. Thank you for watching. God bless.